Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hi, my name is Rahmat, and today I'm going to talk on a very important topic that is what is the true meaning of education. So, first of all, I'm I'm going to tell you an example which will uh, make you clear the meaning of education. For example, if you are going somewhere and a person is coming from the opposite side and you ask the person, where are you going? So the person uh, says, I don't know where I'm going. So what will you think about that person who does not know where to go? So the same thing is with the person who is getting education. But he does not know the true meaning of education, the purpose of education. Because education is also a pathway and it also has the destination, final objective and purpose of life. So that sh that's why it should be quite clear for the students. But if we try to find out this in our educational system, so after getting the degrees, professions, uh, if the students are unable to uh, honest person, fruitful person for society, and uh, having a good character, if uh, they do not have a good character, good attitude, good behavior, so what is the use of education? So that is not the purpose of education uh, because we should not confine education only to getting a degree or just passing the exam. But our educational system uh, in the context of our educational system, education is very much limited. So now, uh, first of all, we should know what is the meaning of education. Education is derived from a Latin word, educar, which means to bring out. But what we are doing in our educational context, we are not bring out something from the student. We are just filling the empty buckets. The role of teacher is to fill the minds of students with different information. So they, he will be able to pass the exams and uh, will be able to get a degree and finally he will be able to earn money. But our final purpose of life is not just earn money. Although it is our uh, primary objective of life, it is very important. But it should not be the final objective of our life. So that's why, because of a poor educational system, because of uh, uh, not being clear of the meaning of uh, true meaning of education, so uh, we have the problem of corruption in society. So the main cause of the corruption is the poor educational system. Because, uh, uh, for example, if uh, there is a doctor or engineer or a professor, but if they are not honest with their profession, uh, they are not uh, sincere with their profession. Even they have not a good character. So what is the use of that education? So that's why the word education requires that we should bring out something. Uh, we should nurture the students' abilities through different educational activities so that uh, he will be able to show the creativity, he will be able to express the confidence and good values, manners, and finally uh, he or she should be able 
to become a respectable person, a successful person, uh, expressing the abilities of good character, good behavior. So now I will uh, give you an example to differentiate what is different between an educated person and an uneducated person. We cannot say a person uneducated who does not have a degree, although he is a successful person, it may also be possible without getting a degree a person may also be an educated person. If uh, he knows how to earn money, if he knows how to solve the problems of life, and uh, if he bears a good character, good qualities of human being, so he is educated. We should not confine education only to the school system, to the university system. Even what is the use after going through the school system and educational system? Finally, if a person is unable to become a successful person. So I want to explain the definition of education in my own words. Whatever I uh, come to a conclusion through the observation, uh, to, through reading the books, and through my personal experience, I can define education that uh, education is a long life learning process by which we are able to live a successful, a prosperous, a respectable life where we are able to uh, solve all the problems of our life. That is education. So, if uh, uh, keeping this uh, definition in our mind, if a person is doctor or professor, so his, his life cannot be successful, his life cannot be prosperous. Only just earning the money. But apart from getting the degree, profession, if he has all the characteristics of a good person, so we can say that he is really an educated person. So uh, here I will give uh, you uh, an example which will clear what is the difference between uh, educated person and uneducated person? For example, take the example of two tiny seeds. One is the seed of a flowering plant and another is the seed of non-flowering plant. So the seed of flowering plant is a child who has all the good facilities of quality of education and the seed of the non-flowering plant is the child who does not have good educational system quality of education so if we provide the seed which is the seed of flowering plant and we grow it we sow it in a garden and we provide water and fertilizers and all the conditions so that the tiny seed will uh, transform from a uh, seed into a bird when it is a tiny bird still it does not have any qualities it should blossom into a flower it should transform into a flower when it blossoms it gives fragrance and uh, it becomes very much beautiful. So a child um, is like a tiny seed and the teacher's role should be the gardener, should be the role of the orchard keeper. So then he will provide it uh, all the conditions, water the plant and uh, take care of the plant and uh, provide the fertilizer so that it will 
become a bird and then it will become a very beautiful flower giving the, the example of uh, uh, showing the example of a child when it grows and uh, the educational system and the um, training of the teachers um, will enable the person like a flower he should uh, be the example of flower uh, expressing the abilities of creativity, expressing the abilities of self-confidence and expressing the abilities of uh, good character and positive change in, in their behavior, in the attitude so that finally he will be an exemplary person like a flower because uh, it is not written on the forehead of a person how much he is or she is educated. It is uh, the character, attitude and behavior tells the person what kind of person he or she is. We can judge a person not just by uh, his degrees. We judge a person's qualities through its communication skill, through the confidence through the creativity, how much intelligent person, how uh, much uh, honest person. So finally, the flower will transform into a fruit. So when a student uh, appears in his practical life so his example should be like a fruit ripe fruit because the fruit has the taste and fragrance also and uh, the beauty and it, the fruit is also the outcome of the tree which is the purpose of the garden, which is the purpose of the owner. So in the same way, a real educated person's example is who is a successful person from all aspects of life, not only just getting a degree, he must have the degrees, profession, but apart from the profession, he has a good character, attitude, behavior, all the good qualities and confident person where he or she would be able to resolve all types of problem facing in our everyday life.